Just hours ago, this post was made. Hololive Hoshimaki Susei was slandered. It was the work of Niji Sanji, Amamiya Kokoro's moderator. And linking over to this video. The video itself is about four minutes long, however, it is entirely in Japanese. That translating essentially to what the Reddit post was also titled as well. Leaving people to piece the puzzle together, one comment on Reddit saying, So, someone was talking smack about Susei, and it turns out to be a Niji Sanji Liver's manager? The OP is saying a Niji mod, but also a fairly well known Pokemon YouTuber. Another response saying a Poketuber Amamiya modded when he popped up in her chat while she plays Sword and Shield. So the situation sounds pretty crazy, and also extremely immature. We got more information to go over on all of this. First, a quick message from today's sponsor. Big thanks to our sponsor, Immortal Rising. Immortal Rising is an extreme action RPG, where you empower your immortal to annihilate all evil. Experience a dark fantasy world with high action, where you can utilize magnificent skill effects and a variety of weapon styles to defeat massive amounts of monsters. Whether you're a solo player or a co-op player, you can obtain a variety of rewards through various in-game events, and also daily login bonuses. Players seeking the co-op approach can also join a guild and even fight in guild wars. And this is a great time to unleash your skills as an immortal, as the first First global anniversary is currently being celebrated, with boosted limited time events, fun challenges, and special anniversary quests to win even more amazing prizes. Join the fight against evil by trying Immortal Rising for yourself with the link in the pinned comment or description, and thanks again to Immortal Rising for sponsoring this video. Returning to the Suse situation, we've got p2y.jp writing, one of the persons who made allegedly slanderous remarks against VTuber Hoshimaki Susei has come under criticism for possibly being a moderator for the talent Amamiya Kokoro of VTuber group Niji Sanji. This time, the slanderous act against Susei was confirmed by Ashiki, a Pokemon YouTuber. Ashiki was criticizing Susei's collaboration project with the game, the Idolmaster Cinderella Girl Starlight Stage, and also pointing out that he had made a post, a tweet, that could be considered slanderous to Susei. That apparently reading, I'm glad the collaboration between Idolmaster and Susei was rough as expected because I thought the content was pretty disgusting, even as a regular VTuber. I wish they'd give them the ability to turn off the collaboration completely in the game, and if they turn it off, they'd get jewels or something. So if that tweet's real, you're telling me this dude is so pressed that he wants people to get a reward, a player to get a reward in-game if they actually remove Suse from their game. <laughs> like, get some jewels or something. What the heck has got this guy so angry? Well, the author does continue to say one of the reasons for the criticism of Ashiki's words and actions is that Ashiki is seen as a possible moderator for Niji Sanji Talent Amamiya Kokoro. Well, that still doesn't really explain why he'd get so mad over this, though. Is it just, like, insecurity or something? Like, he's actually just upset because a Hololive VTuber is getting a nice collab? Well, the article does add this, saying, It has also been confirmed that Ashiki has long been engaged in language and behavior that are suspected of slandering Hololive production to which Susei affiliates. In addition, Ashiki has been criticized in the past for problematic behavior towards VTubers, including inappropriate behavior at a competition with Keda in 2019, which led to criticism from the group's operator on Limited. On December 4th, 2022, Cover Corporation, which operates Hololife Production, and Any Color Inc., which operates Niji Sanji, issued a joint statement on anti-slander measures. However, the reason is that if a person with a special relationship to Niji Sanji, such as a moderator of one of its talents, were to engage in slanderous acts against Hololife Production or its talents, it would not be limited to slanderous acts by a single individual, but could develop into a problem between companies or organizations. They closed the article by saying Susei has been slandered in the past by those who appear to be part of the Niji Sanji followers, and many proof of such slander has been reported by volunteers. Please make sure to check not only this article, but also the primary information provided by the talent themselves, their agencies, groups, and companies, and if you see any malicious information or slander, please report it to the aforementioned contact with two links right there. So yeah, it sounds like this dude is actually mad that Susei got a clap with Idolmaster. And as they mentioned, if this dude does have a moderator position, this could cause problems between Niji Sanji and Hololife according to the terms of their own anti-slander measures. More evidence of Ashiki being a mod for Kokoro include this image where he's apparently in her chat that's his username right there in blue with the moderation wrench by his name. Apparently back in 2021, he had also made some tweet where he's uh, essentially celebrating Hololive burning again, as he puts it, although the translation is, of course, rather scuffed. And saying something about the worst generation. And on that note about the translations, of course, people over here, myself included, are trying to piece the puzzles together. So ultimately, make your own conclusions of this what you will. Do you also remember the video that we talked about earlier on in this one regarding the video in Japanese that was covering the situation? Well, some of the top comments left there include, 
as Shiki, for all his anti-Hall Live antics, has switched to defending himself by liking Hollow's fan art. So, maybe some damage control there? Not sure. Another comment saying, I think it is foolish that he thought he was allowed to make such a comment even for a moment while he was in the position of a moderator for Niji Sanji. I'm not saying you should like Hololive, but be careful what you say or you will not only burn yourself. So if Japanese people are watching that video and leaving comments like that, it does seem to at least support that for the most part we are getting the idea of what's going on over there even with our scuff translations. Two more top comments include one person essentially calling uh, Ashiki a monster moderator. And another saying, there are a lot of psycho people around Niji Sanji who have warped animosity towards the Hollows. And by the way, these translations were provided by DeepL. Some users also going to Ashiki's channel and leaving comments such as, if you look closely, your views are over. Why don't you retire from YouTube for your own good? A few comments also left in English, reading pathetic and loser. More people on Reddit talking about this. One user saying, Kokoro should get a new mod. You don't just slander one of the top VTubers in Japan and live to tell the tale. A response saying, who says they will? Next thing you know, missing persons list. Then suddenly their hearts are missing and their bodies are cleaved by an axe. Okay, so that's referencing like the Susei psychopath memes for anyone who's concerned about that for a second. This situation, for example, being depicted in wonderful art by Hydebor, who also further said the collab when she is known for her bloodthirst. After Susei had killed Roboko with Ayame, Mio was their next victim, and I can remember this moment well. If the translation is correct, I think Susei laughed and said something like, keep screaming, nobody will hear you, Mio. And it sent a shiver down my spine. And also, she cooked Mio's heart in the game afterward, and it sealed her reputation as a bloodthirsty idol, at least for a while and then apparently making a reference to Warhammer. Back to the comments talking about this recent news. We've got, he's a mod, so you guys know what's about to happen at every post regarding this, yes? And implying that those posts will get removed. However, at least as of recording this right now, it does seem to still be here. Response saying, the most they can do is stop the story from appearing on this particular subreddit. They can't stop this story from appearing elsewhere on places like the Kurosanji subreddit or YouTube. And the other person then saying, I mean, we're talking about the very guys that pulled the trigger aimed squarely at their own foot. Wouldn't put it past them to aim at their own leg next to stop the foot from bleeding. Yeah, that's gonna work out real well. Why would he slander someone who works so hard to get where she's at? That's so sad and pathetic. A comment saying, got jelly because they can't make their own talent's dream come true. And because someone clawing their way to success is unheard of in Niji land. <laughs> Niji land. <laughs> You're born successful or you're not. Out of anyone you could mess with online, you chose to mess with Susei of all people. Man, this dude deserves what's coming. I'm not surprised in the slightest. Goofy AF. Pathetic loser. Same guy was also playing in an Apex tournament with Kozuki from Niji JP before. I wonder why he'd slander Susei like that. Hmm. Well, that seems to be where the situation is at currently. However, you can see that some people are still finding some stuff that occurred in the past, and there's a chance that there might be further updates to this situation. However, for now, that's where I'm going to leave this one. And despite this shenanigans happening, congrats to Susei for getting that Idolmaster collab. I really hope you enjoyed this segment. As always, thank you so much for tuning in, and if you did enjoy this, consider liking and or subscribing. I appreciate your support greatly. With that all said, I hope to see you in the comments, and in the next segment, have a great rest of your day. Day.